Shalom, 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 Double honor to our apostles and elders of great millstone who were well within these scriptures and told us this a mock a mock into the truth. Peace, love, and salutations to the men who preach this word words of the four corners of the globe. It's gonna allow the spirit to do so. And basically, man, what we own is a hell ride to the kingdom, man. All right, because first and foremost. The scriptures talk about going through that straight gate. And that straight gate is going to be led to the kingdom. But while we're going on that straight gate, we're going to be catching hell, witnessing, you know, um, horrific things, horrific plagues that the Lord is about to see. And the only thing that's going to keep us, you know, on that pathway is the how about Shemel shot? Because he got us the whole way through. You know, we the Lord is literally got us the whole way through. The scriptures say in um, the second edges, the 16th chapter, that if you keep the laws and the commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahushua, the Lord is going to guide you, man. So uh, this is uh, Psalms chapter 37, verse 7. It says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who. Psalms chapter 37, verse 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Right? And the wicked man is Esau Edom. And the wicked devices that's coming to pass, we can already see. Right? The, using the mac and cheese as an excuse to, you know, um, pass certain uh, draconian laws. And soon, sooner or later, it's going to lead it to what? The MOTV, man. Which, that's, that's that hell that's going to be on the prophets of the Lord because we're going to receive a lot of hatred. The people gonna buck up against us, man. Just like they did Yahweh shot. Just like they did the prophets, our forefathers, you know. So these are things that we're gonna get ready to to go through. And these people is about to get judged by Yahweh Shah because they're not keeping the law of laws, statutes, and commandments. But you know, we're trying our best. We're giving our effort to the Lord. So that's why the Lord is gonna guide us through this, and everybody else is gonna perish in their sins, man. Um, it's an Acts chapter fourteen, verse twenty-two. Affirming the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. God. And that tribulation is going to come through what? Spiritual wickedness and high places. It's going to come through what? The spiritual demons that's on these people. It's going to come through Esau. It's going to come through our flesh. Because we we're also going to be battling our flesh. The temptations, you know. So all of these battles we're gonna to have to overcome, but the only way we're gonna overcome is through your how about Shah, through our faith, through our works, through our integrity, man. Huh. Well, as it is written in uh, Revelation 12 chapter, it said we shall uh and they overcame him by the blood of his tip. We're prepared for the blood of the lamb. Yeah, by the blood of the lamb. Right. right, so if we're a part of the lit, we already overcame. You know, we're just seeing it play out right now on the earth. Okay? Wait, 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 wait. extend the moratorium the eviction of some but only for the answer of so so at the end of the day this is uh spelling you know trouble for the last um, you know, it's about to get real bad and i believe right. in the philippines you can't go grocery shopping unless you got the water i believe in the philippines it's already like that so it's slowly trickling down to the, the, the best for last america man. right well that's the direction that this place is headed anyway i'm yeah. talking about the people that the people that's un um, they were talking about how only one individual in their family can go to the grocery store. They were saying that over here. 
And you see the situation that's happening in New York. You can't go in a restaurant. You can't go in a gym. You can't, you know, have a form of entertainment. You can't be a part of the bread and circus, right? You're going to be ostracized from society. That's basically what this is heading to, right? And it's mainly going to start with the Lord's people. I got to write this up real quick. First Peter 4 and 17. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the heavenly father. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the heavenly father? Right. So we're in a time of judgment, man. Right? We're in a time that the heavenly father is about to send judgment upon two thirds of his people, man. Now not return it to them. Right. Following up the ways of the evil, right? You know? Uh, this is like Ezra chapter 7, verse 18. It says, Nevertheless, the righteous have suffered straight things, and hope for the wise. For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things, and yet shall not see why. So we all going to have to go through Jacob's trouble. But we we got that hope. Two thirds of our people, they don't have that hope. Right. We all going to go through the same shit. We've been going through the same shit since day one. Right. But we got that hope of being delivered, man. But two thirds of our people, they, they don't got that hope, man. They're not going to have that hedge and that covering and that, and that day, man. Right. Come on. But the leg on how they cover, you know. You know, that's why the, the judgment of the Lord going to be so heavy. That even us brothers, we gotta cross our, I mean, cross our teeth and dot our eyes. I mean, we gotta be on point. Right. And that day we gotta be circumspect and we gotta we literally have to keep the laws. You know, uh, we gotta get better at keeping the laws. You know, even though the Lord know we fall short, but we, we literally gotta be like on point with everything with the Lord. Cause if we don't, then that judgment gonna you know come upon us, man. This saying right here, verse 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, nah, that's where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Right. If we're going to scarcely be saved, what are the ones that, 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 that don't believe and trust in the Lord? Exactly. Where are they going to be at? Know where they'll be found. They're going to be destroyed. All right. We're going to the word scarcely. It basically means almost not. Because mm -hmm. it's going to seem like we ain't going to be saved with all the calamities and, and the tribulation that's going to be on the planet Earth. It's going to seem like, you know what I'm saying? And of course, we get it right. You know? And we in this flesh. So it's, it's going to be like, of course, it's going to feel like there's no way out. But like the brother said in the Corinthians, he's on his lesson. He'll ride to the kingdom. Don't give up. Right. You know, we just gotta keep our faith in your how about some how shot. And the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our time. That's the spirit. That's uh, Isaiah 33. Let's start at five. Mm -hmm. The Lord the how is exalted. Right. Yeah. yeah. The heavenly Father is exalted. And how do we exalt the heavenly Father by doing these lessons? By praising and glorifying His precious name. Your how about some how shot. That's how the Heavenly Father is exalted, man. Starting with the Apostle of the Great Millstone. We brought in the highways and byways. He is exalted the Heavenly Father, right? Because when we first start, we say we want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, the Kaka, So that's a form of us exalting the Heavenly Father, man. Exactly. For he dwell upon high. Mm -hmm. He have filled Zion with judgment and righteousness. Ooh, he yeah. have filled Zion with judgment and righteousness, man. Right? Exactly. Uh, the wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of that time. Yeah, that's what's going to keep us stable, man. Like, for instance, a life jacket, right? This is a spiritual life raft or a life jacket, if you will, right? That's what's going to, because cause, cause, cause the water's about to get rough, you know? Just like when, it had, when our Lord, you know, was, uh, you know, he had to rebuke the wind and the sea, right? We can pray. So that's how tumultuous this place about to be, man, right? Yeah, you know, not only that, that stability means stable. Mm -hmm. You gotta have faith. That's the whole point when we go into that word stability. There we go. So that's 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 what you are um, building up your faith. You know, mm -hmm. really we get saved by our faith. Mm -hmm. You know, through the power of your how about you now shot to get delivered. Because we gotta really believe that he will do that. Right. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what the scripture said, uh, shall you have faith in the earth? Mm -hmm. Fine. But who gonna be who gonna be doing these things? Who's gonna be occupied in prophecy? Right. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna be building their faith and they doing the work? Right. And the scripture says uh Without faith, it's impossible to please the heavenly father. Faith is the substance. Yep. So he went to substance, he goes to the Greek word hypostasis, which means what? The, the, the substructure or the foundation. So that's the main ingredient. Like, I always say it. That's the main ingredient that we need that's going to carry us over this, uh, these tumultuous waters, man. Right? That's going to be that, that spiritual life jacket, faith, mm -hmm. that we exude. And strength for salvation. Fear of the Lord Yahweh is his trust. Mm -hmm. Fear, you gotta fear the Lord. 
because of the things that's about to come, you know, the only person we can trust in is the heavenly father. You can't trust in nobody else. You can't trust in men. You can't trust in this and that. You got to have a feel of how about to be on the shot. And that's the truth. Because it says in Proverbs 1 and 7, um, the beginning of, um, here's the beginning of knowledge. And, um, and wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Fear the Lord. So, hey, that's how you um, get the uh, knowledge and wisdom and understanding by fearing the Lord. So you got to have that fear, that faith. You got to believe in it. You got to uh, know he's going to do everything. You can't go and trust in nothing else, you know? Uh, I got to be This uh, John, John chapter 15, verse 14. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. And they look like we're the only ones doing that, man. You know, and two-thirds ain't doing it. You know, the niggas that you used to hang with in the world not doing it. Most of the niggas that's living is not doing it because they doing wickedness, man. So that means if we the Lord's friends, why would he deliver us from the plagues that he's sending? That he's sending on the way. That's a lot of people a little more than that. They say, um, you are, you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servants know of not what his Lord do. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known to you. And the Lord made known to us what the prophecies of the Most High, who He was, who His Father was, who our forefathers is, who who we are, and all these things, all this knowledge is what's gonna save us. You know, like the brother uh, poured out uh, Isaiah thirty three and six. Wisdom and knowledge is gonna be your stability, and that's that's what the Lord has revealed and to us. That's what made us friends with Yahweh Shai, man. Precept, brother Shalom, 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 he put up Isaiah 43 and 1. It says, But now, thus saith the Lord Jehovah that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee of Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. So, right. redeemed means to buy back. All right? And how we bought back? With the blood of our Lord, and I was shot. <laughs> okay? He says, verse 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. That's the spirit, because when we talk about it, the water, how, how the water's going to get rough, you know? People get shaken up. You know, you might have uh, motion sickness. You know what I'm saying? You know, people go out on the water, they get motion sick. You know what I'm saying? But you see sick, right? You, you got to fight through that. You think about the account of Peter. You know, it's a test of trial and faith, man. You know, that's what it's going to be, man, because he, he started to doubt. You know, in that situation, when he walked in water with your shot, he had started to doubt. That's why he began to sink, man. So you got to maintain that, that fidelity, that faith. It says, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle the pond. Pond. Yeah, so the most I can be all protected. You know, be, you know, I got it. I got to think about that kind of, um, was it, uh, Ananias, you know, uh, well, she didn't mention and then go come, I'll give you the other names, but, um, you know, how the Heavenly Father delivered them out of the furnace. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, how about, it's nothing impossible that the Heavenly Father can't do. Uh, you just got to believe that he's with you, man. You can't put the most high in the box. Right. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 28 and verse 20. It says, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world among you. So, so this, this is how Rashad speaks. He said he's with us all the way until the end of the world, man. So no matter what we're going through, the trial and tribulation that we're going through, the Lord is with us, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm told that. It's Isaiah 30, 21. Uh, and thy ear shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand, or when he turned to the left. So the Lord is with us, man. As you read up, it says the teachers are not going to be removed in the court anymore. So that's showing you who the man of the Lord is, who actually dealing, who actually uh in the you know in the highways and the byways telling the truth. And not only that, um, we got that the Lord gonna be speaking to us in that day, man. You're gonna hear that voice, man. You're gonna be moving to the right, to the left, you know, to, to get out of uh, certain trials and tribulations you're about to uh, endure. You know? The Lord always said he ain't gonna put too much on you that you can't handle. So you're gonna make it through. You just gotta have that faith and trust in him and believe in him. You know? 
constantly indulging in this truth, you know, that's the whole point, you know, because we know what's coming, you know, the end is coming. Come on, I'll get a quick one. This is uh, Revelation 103. It said, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written, for the time is at hand. The time is at hand. So we see everything. We understand what's, where we at now. We understand that this is the hasten of the day. That's why the Yahweh was redeemed to hasten of Yahweh was from Yahweh shot. So because the time is at hand, now you see the prophecy, they jump it right off the page, you know? So right. that's why we're keeping those things which are written therein, because we believe in this, having faith in this, because we know this is what's going to guide us. Ain't no other way to get guided out of this. We need Yahweh Bar from Yahweh shot to deliver us from the destruction that's about to come. Um, second Ezra chapter 16 verse 73 it say then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire so um, go back to what the brother for though about the one third being tried that's the, the that's the tribulation and the temptation uh, the Lord go bring this electorate but it said and they go know that that, that, that um, if, if this was the Lord's chosen the 
Lord was dealing with them, and it's gonna and it's gonna be um, seen if the Lord will deliver them. You know, but um, verse seventy four it says, "Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord: Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same." So going back to the title of the video, uh, a hell ride to the king. You know, hey, um, we, we all can go through Jacob's trouble, but the elect is going to be delivered out of it. Um, you know, because like um, um, before our mouth said, in order for the um, Lord to deliver you, obviously you got to go through it so he can deliver you. Like Malcolm was talking about his uh, one training partner that he used to be doing, like the uh, uh, jujitsu with. He was talking about, uh, he, he used to tell the other doctor, man, I wanted to get to heaven, you got to go through hell. So that coincides with this lesson that we're bringing out, uh, what is it entitled? Hell Ride to the Kingdom, and the scripture also uh, uh, lay out that same message in the book of uh, the brother got right here. So let's just bring that out real quick. Yeah, it's uh, 2nd Andrew 7, verse 6, it says, there is also another thing, mm -hmm. a city is built and set upon a broad field, mm -hmm. and it's full of all good things. Right, and that's referring to the kingdom of heaven, right? right. That's our continuing city, right? Mm -hmm. Because the kingdom of heaven is going to endure forever because it's going to be a kingdom of righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. The entrance thereof is narrow. Right, and the Lord told us what? That in the book of Matthew, yeah. there we go, enter ye in the year that the strength gate, so the heavenly Father is going to put us in a position of difficulty because that's what the word straight means. Going back to the precept that the brother started out with, uh, Acts the 14th chapter in the 22nd verse, confirming the soul. So that's how the Heavenly Father is going to confirm the souls of the elect, right? Confirm the souls of his disciples by putting them through a test. Truth to tell you that in uh, Ecclesiastes the second chapter, my son is about to come to serve the Lord. Prepare our soul for temptation. And even when the temptation is just a test. So the Heavenly Father got to test us. Matter of fact, see, wisdom. Yeah, yeah. And as the Spirit said, that prove a friend, right? Because we just read that about uh, if you're my friends, you, whatever you do, whatever I command you, in yeah, John the um, 15th chapter, and the Spirit about that word friend, it goes back to the word brother, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? What's up, y'all? What's up? I got a scripture since you said because of the fact that the temptation is just a test. This is 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. Was to deserve the unjust and some better judgment to be punished. And basically, I mean, pretty clear cut, like the brother said, we all going to be tested. And, you know, that's what um, Brother Legend chapter 3, chapter 3, talks about um, the hour of temptation. We all going to be tested. You know, we all going to be tested. You know what I mean? But the righteous is going to persevere. Yeah, the righteous is going to pass the test. Why? Because we've been studying and we've been preparing for the test. It's like the, the school exam for the you know, the, 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 you, oh, you, you, McCart, any brother that graduated and had to take them SATs and shit. You feel what I'm saying? You had to study and you had to prepare yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that's the same thing with this truth, right? We had, because, 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 because what? We, it's about to be a graduation ceremony, right? For so to the scriptures, man, and uh, what is that, second Andrew, the second chapter. It's, it's about to be a graduation ceremony, right? So we want to be, you know what I'm saying? We want to put our best foot forward, like the Lord said, uh, 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 make that uh, calling of election sure, give right. diligence. Right. So this is a form of us giving diligence right here. But like I said, quoting the elder Malcolm, in order to get to heaven, you got to go through hell. And right. that's what we about to go through. Hell in particular, two thirds, they about to go through hell for, you know what I'm saying? The Literally, time. right, because hell is the grave. Yeah. <laughs> they will die and come back through the they, Said, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a quick definition of temptation uh, from the online etymology dictionary. It says, act, it says, 12th century act of enticing someone to sin. And that's what it's going to be. He's going to be given an ultimatum right. you know, uh, to make a decision. And like the scripture say you can have to serve two masters. Right. So you're going to have to make a decision. Are you going to eat at the Lord's table or is you going to eat at the devil's table? Okay. It, it, it's a tough Ultimately, going, y'all know what verse I'm going to. Yeah. But the point is that you're going to be given a decision to make, man. And he's going to dress it up fancy. You know, it's going to be convenient for you, but right. he's going to ultimately be going against you. How about you now? Shut up. Right. Who's going to entice Jake, right? The spiritual demon Satan, right? Uh -huh. His physical counterpart, Esau, even the so called white man on the planet Earth. And that's how he, and, and right, the brother sent the article and the thing, they uh, incentivizing the, 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 the jab for the little young Jake with the iPads and shit. 
talk about if you get it, you get an iPad. Yeah. So that's enticement right there. That's a that's an alluring spirit. That's a feminine spirit, man. That's an alluring spirit that these devils was coming with, man. Right, because they highly into witchcraft and the sorcery. Because we talk about in uh, Ephesians the sixth chapter, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, spiritual wickedness in high places. See, this is spiritual fight. That's why the Lord told us to put on spiritual armor. Um, See, niggas out here, you got Black Rambo and all these individuals on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? They got the, you know, they got carnal armor, right? But that's gonna be to no avail. Just like the movie Constantine, I love to use that as an example with Keanu Reeves. In the scene where the police cop, the bitch, they walked out on the block and all the lights went off. They would get straight black. Anybody seen Constantine with Keanu Reeves? Huh. Come on, bro, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, what did the what did the, the uh, woman do? She pulled out her service, her yeah. service, uh, yeah, her service side on him. You know what I'm saying? What Keanu Reeves said, which that was a spiritual thing he said, he said, that's really not going to help. Yeah. Right? And people, right, even Keith David said that. I was not trusting my bow, neither shall my sword save me. How can you shoot an apparition? That's what I was about to say. They was up against principality. Exactly. You know, they was up against uh, angels and demons and things of that nature, things that you can't necessarily lay hold on. Uh, oh, man. And, and in that movie, remember, he supposedly went to hell in, in the movie where he went to hell trying to save somebody. I, I ain't seen that movie in forever. But just to give you a visualization, that's how the, that's how the planet Earth is going to look. But it's about to get like that because the spirits talk about one realm against another realm. Yeah. So we're going to have a fourth dimension intervening with the third, man. And you're going to be saying all kinds of stuff, apparitions and all that. Right. 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 The spiritual world is coming to the spiritual world. Right. Right. What you think is, 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 is fake is going to become your reality. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the impossible is going to become possible, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. well, uh, Daniel 12, verse 1 tells you that uh, the Lord going to send Michael the archangel, you know, to protect over uh, basically the elect, man. So if the Lord about to send Michael the archangel, to protect over the leg. What you think type of demon, left hand demon is going to be down here? It's going to be all type of powerful left hand demons down here. Right. On a, on a high scale level, if the Lord got to send Michael down here to protect us. No, I was about to say, um, if Esau can't take out the vehicle that the angels drive, how much more is trying to take out the angels? Anybody. <laughs> the ones who are controlling the, the chariots and the vehicles. Right. We, just, we just were speaking about how on RT they was exposing how the chariots were activating and deactivating the nuclear stuff. Uh, yeah. 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 So the fact you ain't you ain't gonna stand a chance, man. Nope. Because the scripture said we're gonna be a God. Even even the man of the Lord. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. It's a second edition. No, this precept right here, it go hand in hand with the title of the lesson, right? The title of the lesson is what is it? Hell ride to the kingdom, bro. So it's gonna be all out hell, right, on the planet Earth, man, right? And that's that's nigh at hand. That's not a fucking far fetched thing. The heavenly Father ain't about to prolong this for too much longer. It's obvious, bro, right? Time flying, bro. That's one of the main indications, right? Time fly, earthquake. We got all these so-called uh, what you call that uh, natural events. Yeah. 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 You start making that. Major chess moves, but right? right. using his heart machine, you yep. know, a lot of that because it shouldn't be raining like how it rained this summer. It shouldn't know? be snowing. You know? A lot of things, you know, because of their machine. Because what really they just for the uh, the prophecies of the Lord is making uh, them come faster. Mm -hmm. Because the scripture says the people be against the truth before, so they really just helping out the family and the word come right. faster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you know. It's 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 a uh, second of the seven verse seven. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand, on the left of deep water, mm -hmm. and only one and one only path between them both. It's like walking on a tightrope, right? For instance, right? To, so you can understand. It's like walking on a tightrope with a with a raging, roaring, tumultuous water on one side and a, a volcanic type of uh, you know what I'm saying, fire about right on the other side. And you on a tightrope. Right. And not only that, other individuals is in front of you. It's a you know what I'm saying, don't go into that. It says and one only path between them both, 
And I'm going to say this, it's a hell ride to the kingdom. See, it could be a, a mental hell. Yeah. It don't got to be a physical hell that right. you're going through because a lot of people, they going to go through mental hell. Like these different individuals with money and these different individuals that got bunkers and, you know, Jeff Bezos, for yes. Yes. example, and, you know, Elon Musk, these different individuals, like they, they going to be going through hell mentally, mm -hmm. right? Because the scripture said real quick, uh, James, the fifth chapter, uh, 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 how you rich man will be paraphrasing for your miseries that shall come upon you. They got money. So why why would they be miserable? Why would they be catching hell? Because the heavenly father is going to play their mind, bro. In this video, uh, prepare for the end of the world as we go over Mike Adams, that mm -hmm. Jones show, mm -hmm. they, they talked about, in so many words, uh, millionaires being afraid. Mm -hmm. And the reason they're being afraid because they're talking about pretty much the cats out the bag at the end of the world, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, and so in word, this is our prophecy because the Lord said in multiple accounts that you know they will be afraid these last days. Now, us standing upon our feet is one of them, all right, in the process. So the fact that the matter is these people are afraid, and that's why you're seeing a lot of suicides. We just had a woman who's who's married. I gotta pull it up, you know, just for edification's sake. But she's married, got five children, you know, got a well to do all husband. And she still took herself, you know, and you got a lot of these different doctors and politicians and officers doing the exact same thing. All right. The thing is, they're afraid because they know what's about to come upon them. So you go ahead and finish with that. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 7 and verse 8. And, and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water. Right. So it's the only way to get to the kingdom. Right. Go through hell. You mm feel -hmm. me? Read that again. It says that one only path. There's only one path to, to, to reach the kingdom of heaven. And that path. All right, uh, 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 I, 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 no, I don't want to use that word. Uh, uh, shit, it's a word I'm thinking of. It says, even between the fire and the water, mm -hmm. so small that there, that there could but one man go there at once. All right, so that, 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 that's signifying what order, all right? So we gotta, we gotta be in order. We gotta be in a single file line. You know what I'm saying? We can't, you can't try to, uh, uh, jump over the man that's in front of you. That's been doing this. You know what I'm saying? This mm -hmm. work, uh, you know, in this ministry longer than you. Can't tell they're going that way either. Right. You can't, yeah, exactly. You can't go in, your, 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 your best friend can't, the brother in the truth, he can't save his, his brother or his best friend who might have came in the truth with him. Mm -hmm. It's good to talk about seeking out our own salvation, but we fairly There we go. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's very important, you know, just uh, stay in order and follow the positions that, you know, that you in, you know? Mm -hmm. that's that's the uh you know the way we have to go you know because we got a leader so everybody got to be you know everybody got to follow the leader so if when you follow the leader you're in the line you ain't jumping over the dead so you're yeah, right and, all that. You yeah, and who is the, who, who's the ultimate leader your house shot right okay. so he's the leader of this uh this, 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 this army of men okay because that's what we follow it right what did apostle paul say he said be ye followers of me as I am of a martial and how shot. So ultimately, that's who we follow, right? And a lot of individuals, they get misconstrued. They think we follow men, right? Mm -hmm. That's why niggas talk shit, go in certain things, all the crazy, man. And they feel like the uh, Bible was written by Esau, man. That's what a lot of niggas say. And I'm gonna say, these individuals that say that are individuals that mm -hmm. claim to be Israelite. That, 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 that's the thing yep. about it. Go ahead. Verse 9, it says, For this city, now we're given unto a man for inheritance. Uh -huh. If he never shall pass the danger set before it. Ooh, the danger set before it, man. Right. So that's going into that what? That hell that you got to go through to get to the kingdom, man. Right. Okay? Because it's going to be a dangerous time, right? The scripture talk about that in um, Timothy. To the first, the first or second Timothy, the scripture talk about it. No, uh, <laughs> the early time, the early time shall come. You know? And ever since it was a nation. Like the time ever before, you know. So the Lord will deliver us from these things as long as we do what we got to do to make it. That's right. It says, If he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Hey, there we go. So, the uh, uh, Ezra was posing a question, man. All right? If you ain't passed through the danger before, how are we going to receive the inheritance, man? Because this is all a part of the prophecy, all right? And the prophecy has to be fulfilled, you know. We have to go through hell, man. We have to. There's no way around it. You can't get around it, right? You know what I'm saying? You can't wish it away. 
You I don't give a damn how optimistic you is. I don't care how much money you got, hey, right? Yeah, there we go. You say you you, you a thief in the wrong. I got I got that. It was uh, John ten and one. There's a girl that I sent to you. He that entered not by the door, and into the sheepfold, right? But climbing up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Right, and that door is synonymous with the uh with that uh street gate. Exactly. You know, man. you know, cause that's the that you becoming that you ain't you. That's what these other Israelite um camps are doing, trying to find another way to make it to to salvation. It don't work like that. It's yeah, the wrong way. Like the nigga Mo from uh, Home Alone <laughs> Part Two when the nigga was in New York. This nigga Mo, he tried to go up the uh. <laughs> the fucking fire letter, right? But 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 what they asked the spirit too is the the little dude with Cody Cody he put some type of slippery shit all the brothers in the building. Yeah. Part. He jumped on the motherfucking uh, fire escape, fell off that bitch. Yeah, exactly. So that's Plus how it's going. Yeah, exactly. So that's how it's going to be with these individuals that try to come up some other type of way. Yeah, that's a prime example of these individuals, man. You see the answer, man. Exactly. Go ahead. I, he said the uh, verse ten. And I said, it is so, Lord. Then it said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. Ooh, it's all right. This is our portion, right? It's like, it's like, for instance, a portion like a food, if you will. You know, like you have portions, if you will. Um, this is our portion, man, right? And we got to clean our plate, man, you know? You know how your parents used to say, you know, you you ain't, you know, you can't get up from that table until your plate is clean. You know? Yeah, I mean, how Shaw said, he said, Shaw, not nah, sure drink a cup. My there we go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. He says, uh, let's bring this point. Come. Y'all brother got this. I got a quick uh, precept. I was just trying to find this. Like it, but, um, yeah, this here is uh, St. John 15. St. John 15 and 20. It says, remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you also. All right? So the time period that's coming, going into the title of the lesson, you know, the hell ride, you know, it's trying time. Hey, Yahweh went through it. And he attempted to try to pray it away. You know, but that wasn't the will of Yahweh. He had to go up on the cross, ultimately to die for the, uh, you know, for the entire world, saying to me, that's it. But the point is, man, all right, he had to go through the same week. All right, yeah. so at the end of the day, the servant not greater than his master. He says, If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So at the end of the day, we entered into the road to enter into your house, you know, to be joint heirs with them in the kingdom. We got to be joint heirs with the supper. That's what the truth is. That's what the wrong is doing. I'm going to tell you what you said. You said that he offered a problem. Yeah. And he offered up the deep down the cross for his own sins and did yeah. for the people. Mm -hmm. You know, and we all sin. Yeah. So we all going through these things. I said, I said well, like he was in the apocalypse. And said, we suffer these things for our own sins. You know, so we got to go through these trials tribulations because we fucked up against the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, to go back into his good grace and his mercy. Mm -hmm. And that's just what it is, man. The condition of the battle that man born upon earth shall fight. That's what the scripture says. All right, this is the part of that fight. It's a spiritual fight. Sometimes it's a physical fight. But at the end of the day, you got to continue to fight. Keep in mind the Lord is a man of war. See? And he loves a good fighter. So at the end of the day, you know, trust in your house, love, shame, and shame, man. Uh, this song is back in 2nd Andrew, chapter 16, verse 74. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Huh, so, hey, going back to that, uh, that hell ride. The Lord will deliver this elect out of the trouble that's coming, which is Jacob's trouble. The, the worst time ever is going to be the uh, best deliverance ever. All right. Verse 75 it says, be, be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your God. Um, and that, uh, that uh, goes back around with the Psalms 37 and 7. Because the Lord told us, pray not because of the evildoers, man. And the uh, ones who bring wicked devices to pass. See, we have no reason to be afraid. We have no reason to be in fear for except to fear the Lord, man. All right, because the Lord said He's going to deliver us. If we do what we got to do, then we straight, man. Yeah, yeah, come on, that land back with the but it's saying, Eliyah Shalom, but just going into it. We said, listen, man, the fact that the Lord is not going to let this damn devil win, man. His agenda, his so called 
the NWO thing you want to do, man. Like you just saw today with uh, the so called uh, Bill Gates dude getting exposed, et cetera, and the board going to throw wrenches, et cetera, in his plan, man. Come. So all you got to do is just keep the faith and trust, keep walking and walk, man. But they mentioned the shirt game, you know? They let the Lord handle the rest, and they just keep the faith. You know? yeah, Bill Gates. What's that dude named uh, Como? Yeah. He oh, got some type of sexual harassment allegations against him. They called him for his resignation. Yeah. Why he's steadily trying to, you know, push this uh this mac and cheese shit on cars. Okay. And and like they was talking about in that video that you said, that in so many words they are uh, doing that, you know, to keep in order to pretty much stir up the emotion of the people, man. You know, they trying to get a reaction out of the masses, man. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's why they forward in their agenda the way that they're going about it. Right, because they're pretty much forcing these people's hands to react. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you got some more on that? Yeah, it's some more. Uh, it's uh, second Exodus chapter 16, verse 75. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your God, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, save, save, save the Lord, and how about you, all shot? Let not your sins weigh you down. And let not your iniquities look up themselves. So you're kind. So, um, like the brother was just saying, if you doing what you got to do and you're serving the Lord in truth and sincerity, the Lord is going to protect you. You know, you, you, have, you don't have anything to worry about. Because the scriptures say, um, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for you. So you doing the works of the Lord when it's supposed to you ain't going to fear, you know, and, um, because some these, these these people out here, they, they think, um, when they die, they gonna go to hell. Or mm-hmm. they, this is the right. This is the end. Mm-hmm. It's nothing left, you know. But but that's because they're not serving y'all by showing y'all a shot. They don't have the proper understanding. But we got the proper understanding. So all we gotta do is just um, keep keep our composure and keep our faith. You know, keep our integrity. Keep it trying by that door. I still have a little more on this. This John ten and two. But he that enter in by the door is the shepherd. Of that's why we got to get your hand through this first day, through that door. There's no other way you can go. If you're not coming this way, then you out of line. You're going to get destroyed, man. That's what's going to end up happening, man. You got to come the way that how we got to show you how we got to say it's If you ain't doing that, that's not, that's out of order. The Lord is not the altar of confusion. And the scripture said, let everything be done decently and in order. So you got to follow the order. Verse 3. To him, the, uh, the retainer open, and the sheep hear the voice and call it his, his sheep by name and leadeth them out. And, that, and that's what we're doing. Whoever in front of, front of you is leading you out. You know, mm-hmm. whoever behind you, you leading that person. We all leading each other through the, leading each other out. And who's the main person leading us out? Your house shine. So us following that example, we leading people out as well. So that's why we got to be on point with this, one in the spirit, one in the faith. The, the, the more years and years you're dealing with this truth, you're going to start getting more wise. You're going to start thinking more. You're going to be more on point. You're going to be more circumspect. You know, you ain't going to be doing uh, uh, going off. You know, like like normally you may make that mistake. You ain't going to make that same mistake no more. You know, you're going you to just keep going. And you're going to keep running that way. He said, a just man, call him seven times and get it back up. Mm-hmm. But the mischief followed up, but the wicked followed into mischief. Mm-hmm. So that's why we good, and we got to keep it going no matter what. There's no other way out but to go the way of the house of Bar Shah. That's the only way. Mm-hmm. Can you say that? Mm-hmm. Now, this was from Solomon chapter 3 and verse 1. He said, But the soul of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh. Yeah, there we go. Right, go ahead. And there shall no turn to touch them. Right, so doing this hell ride, get Job a good chunk. Doing this hell ride to the king, the souls of the righteous ain't no torment going to touch them, right? Because the heavenly father going to have angels and camp around them.
Huh? It's cool. Yeah, it's not that somebody was calling. Huh. We, we are miserable, man, right? You know, we are miserable. It's a miserable life to live, man, you know? Because we have this wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. We know that, that you know, this, this glorious word of the Heavenly Father, you know, and we can't even, um, uh, we can't even act on it. So, of course, we're miserable. Huh. But, but it's good to say, but we are at peace, right? Because... What keeps us in peace is knowing this place is about to be destroyed. Knowing it's about to be a hell ride to the kingdom for you wicked ass two thirds of our people. As well as Esau and the rest of these damn heathens. Right, so we had peace knowing that. That the kingdom, regardless of whatever we go through, right, hey, what, what the brother said on that song? <laughs> the brother, he said, no matter what happens, I'm still believing you. Yeah. So that's the type of mind frame that you got to have. No matter what happens, you still got to believe in the Heavenly Father. That Joe had, he said, Don't you slay me, that would I trust in you? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So continue to maintain your integrity. Uh, verse 4 it says, For though they be punished in the sight of man, let us now hope for the immortality. That's right, man. That's what we hope for immortality. We hope, we are we going to work hope. Another word that's synonymous with hope is ex expect. So we, it is, so we expect an immortality. We, that's what we expected. That's what we expected the Heavenly Father to do for us. Give us glory. And the Heavenly Father said he would do that. His word ain't going to return it to him void, man. Right? But it shall accomplish in that which he pleased. And what the Heavenly Father pleased, and the Heavenly Father pleased, and beautifying his people, man. Right? Oh, what the scripture says, uh, uh, fear not, little flock, for it is your good fathers to give you the kingdom, roughly paraphrased the book of Luke, man. And so there we go. So the Heavenly Father take pleasure in, in, in uh, elevating us, all right, to putting us on the pedestal, man, right? The Heavenly Father take pleasure in, you know, uh, uh, bestowing us with spiritual power, bestowing us with infinite and, and, and you know, uh, uh, infinite wisdom, man, okay? It's a, a verse 5 saying, have you been able to chastise? Yeah, we yeah, that's right, and that's what that's what this this this, this hell ride to the kingdom is for, man. and we've been chastised already. Brothers been going through shit, you know, and Jake too. See, now the, the, the whole nations, but the difference of, between us and them. See, we acknowledge our offense. We know why we going through going through that spiritual fight. There we go. Too bad about people want to go through that physical fight. And like I said, we know why we going through the situations that we going through. We why we know why we. At a lower state, we know why uh, the women proud against us. You know, we know why motherfuckers be coming up against us, mocking and scoffing. We know why he saw the so called white man in the position that he's in, man. Okay, see, that's the difference between us and the rest of our nation, man. We acknowledge, all right, we acknowledge our offense. That's what the Heavenly Father said uh, in Sirach, the 21st chapter, my son, has thou sinned? Do so no more. Don't be paraphrasing, but as part of what I form a sin. And that's what it is with our people. They don't think they sin. They even say it in the book of Jeremiah, I believe it's the 16th chapter. They say, What why the Lord pronounced all this evil against us? What what we do to the Lord? And the Lord told Jeremiah what to say to the Jeremiah 16. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And we gonna say the same thing that the Heavenly Father instructed Jeremiah to say to our people. You know? Good. And it says. They shall be really rewarded for the most have proved them and found them worthy for himself. There it is, man. So, Lord willing, we're looking to be greatly rewarded, man. Right? Uh -huh. We're looking to be greatly rewarded. We're looking to be delivered, right? Because that's the greatest reward that you could ever receive, right? Being delivered from the coming destruction. Being delivered and protected, all right? And have a hand about you, right? Through, through this hell ride to the kingdom, man. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed to the commandments of the Lord. He said, They that remain, remain what? After all this commandment, man. You're gonna know that. Look, we made those who, who endure to the end, gonna be, they gonna have a mindset that they made the right decision. They choosing the fear of the Lord. He said, There's nothing better, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Uh, verse 6, we uh, saw in chapter 3 and verse 6, it says, As, as gold in the furnace had tried them, they received them as a part of them. There we go. So, right, the Heavenly Father, this is like we were talking about earlier, this ultimately is a test, right, that the Heavenly Father is about to put us through. 
I'll read that again. I would say it says as gold in the furnace, how he tried them, right? Received them as a burnt offering. There it is, man. Right? And we are gold, man. The, the, the Lord said what? That he was gonna make a man more precious than the gold that wears the most pure, right? Mm -hmm. So the heavenly father referred to us as gold, man. Right? That's the uh, most precious uh metal, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most rarest metals, right? You got gold, silver. You got a uh, 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 platinum, like the brother said. You got a uh, uh, rhodium. Yeah, yeah, you got rhodium. You know what I'm saying? Well, Jake like don't know about power, that. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. It says, in the time of their visitation, they shall shine. Woo. And to and fro like sparks among the stuff. Right. We're going to have spiritual powers. That's where they got the flash from. That's right. Yep, that's right. But it says, read it again. Not. It says, in the time of their visitation, yep. they shall shine. And run to and fro like sparks among the stars. Right, because right, what's going to make us shine? The scripture tells you that in uh, Ecclesiastes, the eighth chapter, that we're wisdom. There we go. So that's why we're going to shine, man, because there's going to be an aura around us, man, because there's wisdom. Go ahead. It's on Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. It says, And they that be. It's Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. At that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince will stand up for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time for children such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. Right, and that that's time is now, man. Okay, that time is now. That's why we, we have the mercy period to get prepared for this time now, but pretty soon here we're not gonna be preaching no more. Pretty soon here we're not gonna be able to we're not gonna be working jobs that Esau, you know, uh, trying to basically uh support our fans support our life here in society none of that is going to there's going to be no more society man and yeah. the lord is going to lead us through that you know destruction of the society lord going to lead us through that we still going to have what well, food in our stomach uh shelter we still going to have you know protection we still going to have what we still going to have clothes on our backs man time it's saying um and at that time thy people shall be delivered Everyone that shall be found written in the book, the elect. Yeah, that's right. So that's the only ones who are going to be delivered, man. Right? That's the only ones who are going to be protected during this hell ride to the kingdom, man. Only the elect are going to be protected, right? And have that hedge about them, man. Come They're going to be tried. They're going to be uh, delivered. They, they, they'll get that reward. Right. Everybody else is going to be spoils of war. You know? Everybody, matter of fact, not spoils of war, because they ain't even going to be, a, you know, they ain't even going to do that. They're going to be casualties of war. Right. That's a better, you know what I'm saying? That's even better to say. They say, it's a lot of They say, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to, ever, to shame and everlasting contempt. And right, because the Lord said what? Before, before all these things come to pass, the truth has to basically, uh, the gospel has to be spread right across the whole globe, across the whole world. So ain't no ain't no excuses for two thirds. And then at the same time, all the elect members is awakened. So all the elect members are sealed and everybody else is marked for destruction. They say, um, um, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn Amen. may and they that turn many to uh -huh. righteousness mm -hmm. as the stars forever and ever. Mm -hmm. right. right. Who's turning many to righteousness? The prophets, right? The disciples of the Heavenly Father, the Yahweh, uh -huh. Yahweh, the Stones, the apostles, uh -huh. and the elders of Great Millstone, the brothers who are teaching a like minded doctrine, the brothers who are teaching a 100% truth according to the scriptures, the brother who publishing and concealing not. Those uh -huh. are individuals that turn many to righteousness. If I can say this too, even some of them other counts. Turn me to righteousness because a lot of brothers woke up by the other count, right. but they have a father, right? Yeah. Man, the valor. Now, not them in particular, because they on point. I'm talking like IUIC, ISUBK. Certain brothers, that's how they got uh, uh, knowledge about uh, the, the, the Israelites and then we Hebrew Israelites through these other counts. Mm -hmm. uh, entry level counts, like the brother said. So mm -hmm. even though, go ahead, brother Lockie, because they was the first one. Uh, I'm coming up yeah. on YouTube. There we go. One, one um, you know, the apostles were on YouTube at first. Right. And so, and, and a lot, and a, a majority of them individuals that's in these other camps, bro, they gonna come out of that. You feel me? They gonna come out of that. Like, for instance, the, the, the apostles them always bring up high priest Ariyah and how he was following comfy and that nigga. 
you know, the comforter, and that they always, uh, you know, relate him to uh, Zechariah the third chapter yeah. as being cold and filthy garments. Right. You know, so a lot, a lot of these other individual, individuals in these camp, they cold with filthy garments too. You know. And we're going to take, take that above them. Right. See. And what's those filthy garments, man, is that, that, that doctrine, right? Yeah, this is uh, the brother Jim, uh, the brother Shapatia, Shalom as well. Shalom, 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 Shalam, Shalom, Shalam, 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 now, it's, it, it's the one, it's in the book of Psalms, if I'm mistaken. You say, how can a young man cleanse his way? By the hearing of the hearing of the word. Here we go. So that's how the Heavenly Father, he gone, he, he washed our mind, bro. You feel me? That's what the Heavenly Father did. He washed our hearts, man. We got brainwashed by the wisdom, understanding, knowledge of the Heavenly Father. Yeah, how about our sin and how son? Right, it's put off the weak nature. That's right. You know, you got to put on that immoral way of, of, of thinking, and that immoral way of life. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to make it through the hell ride to the kingdom, bro. That's the only way you're going to be able to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. We got that quick piece of recorded uh, Psalms 119 mm -hmm. and 9. It says, Where with thoughts shall a young man clear his way? That's right. By taking heed there too, according to the word. There we go. So that's how the Heavenly Father is going to wash us. That's how we're going to cleanse our ways by taking heed to the Wisdom, understanding, knowledge of your how about you know how Exactly. You know, uh, he uh, revealed that to us, washing us up. Our uh, Amos 4 and 7 showed the Lord thy God would be nothing but reveal his secrets to the servants of the prophet. Mm -hmm. so that's how we, when we got washed, he washing our mind and cleaning us up. We Now we know the knowledge. And then, hey, we pray to the Lord every day not to take it away because he can easily just take it like right. that. Exactly. You know, because we don't deserve it. We deserve death. The scripture says that we are. Uh, we are we are punished less than our nickel we deserve. Yeah, right. um, we really don't hey he said he could have made a whole nation out of rocks. Right. So he didn't really need us. But, right. but that's just the mercy. Mm -hmm. So the Lord giving us this understanding and bringing us back, you called to take good need of it and do what you gotta do to make it to get salvation. Because hey, us doing going through this cleansing process, hey, we hoping to be that uh refined for that uh refined um uh, gold, man. Right. Right. You know? right. That's why the scriptures say uh, you are saved by faith, not by your works. Even though we still do have to do works to keep the laws, we say by our faith and our we say by we have we see we receive grace by our faith because we, we if it don't go by your works, so you won't boast, basically. Mm -hmm. Keep you humble. Mm -hmm. Keep you humble. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can't uh, uh basically try to assert authority over another man and be, you know, uh overly over righteous or overly weak. Yeah, being the tyrant over brothers, you know, yeah, God, right, Lord, right, Lord, 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 right, Lord and over brothers, right? Because we are we service to the Lord at the end of the day, you know. We were talking about that. I believe it's Romans fourteen chapter. We talk about you know take heed not of judge and nothing that's dirty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We got that. Uh, it's uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter three and uh, verse eight. He said, "They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, mm -hmm. and their Lord shall reign forever." Right, we're going to judge these nations. We're going to judge them according to the law of every commandment. See, we ain't going to make up our own law like these devils did, mm -hmm. you know? We ain't going to judge people according to the laws of Esau. We're going to judge them according to the laws of Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Verse 9, they say, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful and love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect. That's right, man. Right. So the Lord gonna have care for his elect, man. He, and, his, and his hair rides to you know to, to the king. The Lord gonna have care for his elect. The Lord gonna protect his elect. The Lord gonna deliver his elect. You know, it's it's the salvation of the righteous and the destruction of the enemies, man. So we, the Lord, we're not gonna be forsaken. Man. Um, First John four and seventeen. Herein is our love made perfect. Which I went into the word perfect is telio. It says to make perfect, complete. It says to uh, carry through, completely to accomplish. All right? Um, mm -hmm. to, to, to bring to a close fulfillment. It says the scriptures of the promise is perfect, finished, fulfilled. So it says, again, First John 4, 17, Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, 
so are we in this world. It says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, um, because fear hath torment, which that word torment goes into punishment. All right? It says, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. So at the end of the day, the fact that we fear, that's going, uh, we fear you how about she now, all right? We made perfect in love, all right? We going to be able to be bold in that day, man. All right, by having that faith built up through the spirit of power, you have by Shimia and Shai. We bold down. We are standing bold before our enemies, you know, uh, professing this word. What that was in the Solomon the fifth chapter, man? Yes, sir. Standing boldly, man. Calm. And that, that love comes from the keeping of the laws, you know, the keeping of the commandments. Because you supposed to say, yep. well, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. Simple right. as that. Come on. And if you keep those commandments, what shows what? Fear. Mm -hmm. So that fear and that love we have. Uh, with the Al Bashim Al Shah is is connected with the loyalty, or right, from the keeping of the laws, man. Amen. And as long as we don't go aside from that, then the Lord gonna keep His end of the bargain. I went into this word um, uh, boldness, and it's uh, parhesia, as G thirty nine fifty four says, freedom in speaking, utter reservedness in speech, right. open. You know, it says without concealment. You know what the scriptures talk about? What folks can conceal that? Um, it says. Um, it's, yeah, so that's, that's that's the point, man. We boldly proclaim the word and the names also of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, and if we ain't going to the end, the most not going to deliver us, man. That's just what it is. Right. Yeah. 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 So, Job 25, I'm sorry, verse 17. Mm -hmm. It says, it's right. it says Behold, happy is the man who the most high directly. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. There we go, man. Right? So we don't despise the chastening of the heavenly father, man. Because we know that what? Uh, in Romans, the fifth chapter, it said, work about a more peaceable fruit, roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It makes us better than the heavenly father put us through certain situations. It makes us stronger. It makes us tougher, man. Right? Right. Right. Because it says we don't. You go through a chest time, you're going to do a few best get back. Mm -hmm. you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Lord deal with you as sons. That's, That's right. right. That's right. He says, when he make the sword and bind it up, he wounded in his hands lay hold. Mm -hmm. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Here we go. Yeah. In seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Right. So these are confident scriptures, right? Even though we're going into the, you know, the subject matter of a hell ride to the kingdom. But if you're a righteous individual and you try to serve the Heavenly Father to the best of your ability, you show charity to the brother, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you know, you give alms and you're doing the best of your ability. Like I said, the Heavenly Father said, no evil shall touch you. Go ahead. It says, because the times that we coming in, man, this is it's about to be evil, man. All right? It's about, right, evil meaning time is bad, right? So the time that we enter into, it's going to be bad times. Mm -hmm. um, right? We, 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 you know, we can't even to the extent you can we I'm gonna speak for myself first and we can't I can't fathom the type of situations that's gonna be happening out here, man. You know, right. we just we just patiently waiting to see what the hell we fall and got in store, man. Well we got one account dealing with Ezra who said it was me, was me, who shall deliver me in those days. Man. Right. Because he's seen a, a, a glimpse of a, a chick of trouble. Right. And, bro and brother sees glimpses, you know, the heavenly father mm -hmm. gives certain brothers visions and things mm -hmm. that make you dream, you know. Mm -hmm. So we we ain't we don't know exactly how it's gonna play out, but we know it's gonna be devastating, man. Right, because the scripture relay that message to it, right? Mm -hmm. The scripture says that uh 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 I think it's in Matthew twenty four, uh to my um and no time ever shall it be after yeah, Matthew twenty four. Mm -hmm. Get that real quick. This is uh Matthew twenty four. Right, see, we got an indication of how the time is going to be right, but we don't know, uh, uh, we don't know who. It says, for then shall be great tribulations, just as it's not since there was, it says, since the beginning of the world to this time, those are ever shall be. So that we know just by this scripture alone that it's going to be, uh, it's going to be hell of tribulation, man. Right, because we know the, the, the worst time ever, because we know the different events that happened in history. Like for instance, was seventy A.D. Mm -hmm. So if, the, if the, and we know that that was all. Again, historians, everybody know about seventy A.D. Everybody know what happened to the so-called, you know, not the like What happened to the children of Israel, bro? Everybody know about that. Everybody know about the slave, the enslavement of the Negroes in America, and specifically the Negroes. 
right? Because they published that shit, you know, because that's the main ones that they hated. So they pushed that shit in the media, but they left out the fact that they were doing the same shit to Issachar, to right. Ephraim, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. Manasseh, you know what I'm saying? Gad, Reuben. Gad, Reuben. Some, are, some of these are sort of aware of these different uh, migrations that we had to take through the East Coast. Trail of Tears, yeah. right? So we know we, the, the, the India Removal Act with uh, Andrew yeah. Jackson, right? No, we, the got the first, and so the King got the worst. Right, so we're using these accounts that already took place in history as an example of how effed up it's going to be out here. Right. Said verse 20, and famine, he shall redeem thee from death. they talking about famine, you know what I'm saying? They, they've been talking about famine. It's a famine somewhere, right? Okay, oh, in friend. particular, in particular, I'm thinking of North Korea, right? Where I just watched the video, and they were talking about how, see, the Lord had put hell of flooding over there in North Korea, bro. I believe it happened to this morning or yesterday morning. The heavenly father sent the torrential rain through there, flooded that bitch out, and now Kim Jong Un he calling for a uh, he calling for um what's that shit yeah, called? Like Thirteen hours. Ago, oh, okay. They say North Korea Kim Jong Un calls, calls for relief. Calls in for relief. Areas. There we go. Because they got the water as tall as the houses. There we go. So if the area, if the roads is flooded. If the railroads was flooded and all, if the railroads was messed up. Yeah, it's so it's, it's, go ahead. I read a part of it. Yeah. it says the move comes amid concerns over an economic crisis and food shortages. Mm-hmm. Agricultural lands have been damaged, and Kim Jong Un said in general right. the country faced a tense food situation. Right. And how does how does food travel to and fro by commerce? Right. By um by by track by train. train right. Boat. By train by boat and by truck semi truck by air travel. Right, so if the if the airport if the if the runway flooded, right, that that um uh um uh, cancels out um food being delivered that way, yeah. you know, if the railroads is messed up, that cancels out that the roads flooded, no trucks coming in. Damaged bridges, damaged bridges, railroads. These are these are the type of tools that these individuals use to bring food in, as well as over in America, man. Yep. It said uh, about ten miles worth of. Uh, road has been damaged and hundreds of hectares of farmland were yeah. submerged or we lost. Yeah, we lost. Collapse. So, yeah, we go. so yeah. the brother just said yeah. that the Lord was going to do what? He says, In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. Yeah, the, the, the Lord said, In famine, he shall redeem us from death, man. Because the Heavenly Father is going to feed us. Right? Go ahead. And in war from the power of the sword. There we go. Because that's a hell ride to the kingdom, bro. Right? Because you know what? It's going to be all out hell over here. We speak about that camp, yeah. about these different UN troops, because because of these uh, mandates about this mac and cheese shit, it was 149 uh, San Francisco uh, 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 sheriff's officers. They was basically saying that if they got to get it, they going to quit. So what you think going to happen with a lot of these other uh, 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 law enforcement entities throughout the United States of yeah. America, bro? Yeah. These Edomites going to come together. And you, you just had these... Uh... You had these two nurse ladies saw a sign talking about last year's heroes. This year, yo, you know, I seen pan- that. Yeah, pandemic. Uh, uh, Something word they didn't want to take that. that yeah, that, that, and, and they was talking about to add on to the point that the brother uh, making. They were talking about how they worked through the pandemic without the vaccination, right. yeah. and now they want to fire them because they didn't yeah. take it with all that time. So, man. People getting hip to the, 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 the sorcery and the witchcraft and the fork tongue of these Edomites, man. And, um, and the fact that they about to try to lock it back down, people ain't going to be with it. So and that's, gonna be a that's a spirit. That's bro. That's going to be a hell of a ride, bro. I can't wait, man. I want to see this shit, bro. Go ahead. I don't care. taking the personal part from the baby and giving it back and then taking it away. <laughs> Here we go. You can blow it up, man. It says, verse 21. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Right, so we, we ain't gonna be afraid, man, because we did, we we took the proper precautions to prepare ourselves, man. You know, we're gonna have complete um, confidence and faith in Yahweh, and Yahweh, and Yahweh. And perfect love. There we go. And destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Right, so we're gonna laugh, man, when it's all out hell out here, bro. We're gonna laugh at the People, bro. Why? God, because um, if the Lord speak to his prophets, the Lord gonna laugh to his prophets too. Because the Lord said he's gonna laugh at their calamity. Right. Right. You ain't gonna hear an angelic voice from heaven. 
loud voice, everybody on earth feel like he in heaven. No, the heavenly father is going to laugh by way of the prophet, by way of the men, the disciples, the brothers that has it in their lives for this wisdom, understanding, and knowledge of your how about you know how That's how the heavenly father going to laugh, bro. Neither yeah. shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, but thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. That's right. That's right. Yeah, the power's gonna be coming, man. The Lord's gonna start dealing with us on a different level. We ain't we gonna get a whole new body. We're gonna change in the twinkle of an eye. You know, we're gonna be hey, unstoppable. You know, the Lord about to bring that. Yeah. People don't believe that though. They think that's all fantasy. No, oh, this is man. real. You all, all they what they get Superman and all of them X Men and all these superheroes, uh, Dragon Ball Z, you know, right? All of that they come from the scriptures. Yeah, that prime example is our forefather, uh, the Dead Knight. What's his name? Uh, uh, they, there we go, Samson. He he killed the fucking lion. Uh, you feel me? He he destroyed the lion, man. Right. right. So in that time, if a lion, but these animals, they gonna see the spirit that's upon us, bro. The uh, brothers in uh, Holland, they get yeah, blessing yeah, yeah. about the gorilla. The, you down see down, the gorilla bro. bowing down to them, bro. Yeah. Bowing down to the brothers, bro. They was at the zoo with their children and shit like that. And the gorilla was bowing down to them, bro. The gorilla was acknowledging them. And, yeah. and it's not. It's because of the presence that's behind them, man. Yeah. It, you know what I'm saying? Animals see. Animals see. Yeah, with the spiritual world, they be seeing that. That's that's why that donkey in uh, the book of oh, Numbers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then he seen the angel, yeah. he stopped, and then the big was he started beating the uh, the, yeah, the, the, the ass and shit. Yeah. You know, he started beating him, uh, you know, and then the donkey started talking to his ass, like, Bro, I'm trying, I'm doing you a favor, yeah, exactly. right? So, we're gonna be in tune with these different animals, man, right? Wolves and hyenas and uh, you know what i'm saying bears yeah. whatever type of uh, uh, uh you know uh, uh predator or beast that we come across the heavenly father is going to have it to where they're going to recognize who you are and who are we we are the sons of the living power bro right. so this is it's like it's like on this side you know you got a son right and you got a pit bull you know that fucking pit bull ain't gonna mess with your son he already know. Yeah, right. you know. He know your father. Right. And he know what your father really about. So that, that animal ain't going to bite the hand that feed him, bro. Right. Exactly. Especially with the young people. I got to put two, but it's Isaiah 59. Mm -hmm. So should they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh, from the rising. So, I mean, from the west, mm -hmm. and his glory from the rising of the sun, mm -hmm. and the enemy should come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord that how we should lift up the standard against them. So the Lord will lift up that standard, man. So you gonna see those uh, the men of the Lord getting that power, man. And they're gonna be just running through from the troops. You know, like um the brother the uh get the brother name, he just uh did a video on spiritual power. Um I think his name is Halbershot. Yeah, uh the brother I was telling you about he did a video, he said he had a dream man having a dream of spirit powers and he was saying i was helping him with a being he said uh i aided him or something you know with the power in his dream mm -hmm. you know, so that was just um and that was wrong man i was listening to the video and he said um like we was, we, we was basically taking out all the troops and it wasn't like the beam was spread out to the to the um to the brothers but it, it didn't touch them it's like it went through them and just hit the enemy God, it was concentrated power. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what he was saying. That shit wrong, man. So the Lord about to um, lift up that standard, man. Lord willing, and that come to pass, man. Uh, and this in prophecy. Uh, in Isaiah 3, 9, 19, when the brother, when the brother in uh, Dallas had part of the I'm waiting to Google letter and click on that word spirit. There's a bunch of definitions. We go into the definition of G. And the third one, it says, imparting warlike energy. Uh, warlike energy, man. So like brother said about the spiritual power, that some men going to get that, man. Yeah. Uh, this this Isaiah 59 and 18. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands will he repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. <laughs> right. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. 
the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. That's why I came out again, because hey, this was coming. The Lord is about to magnify his men. That power was coming. Esau knows, knows that this is happening, man. The Lord is about to lift that standard, man. Esau, you, y'all people are going to be fucked, man. Y'all going to be fucked. The Lord going to show y'all why you should fear him through his men. Exactly, man. Because, hey, this, this is the end. You know, the Lord about to start rising us up. On a higher level, he already rising us up. To stand in great boldness against you people, but pretty soon he's gonna rise us up to fight against you people physically. We're fishing right now, but sooner or later, we'll be the, the Lord gonna turn them fish to hunters, man. Come on, and we're gonna hunt. And what hunters do? They kill. Mm-hmm. That's right. We need to Hunters not prey. And who is the prey? The scripture talks about that in Genesis the 49 chapter. My son from the prey, thou art growing up. And who was the prey? Esau and these other nations. Right, so when the heavenly father turns us into hunters, that, it, it goes into that. Hunt them from the cuts of the rocks. That's the prey that's going to be in the rocks, hiding themselves and so on and so forth. Yeah. And who's going to be doing that? Who's going to take that position as the prey, hiding themselves from the hunters? Esau, you know, in particular, these, these, these elite Edomites, man, and these other elite nations, right? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, go ahead, get that. Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10. Yep. Fear thou not, why I'm with thee. Yeah, right. So we, we really don't have nothing to fear because the Heavenly Father is with us, right? Uh-huh. Go ahead. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. And how is the Heavenly Father with us? Because we have this wisdom, understanding, and knowledge that is in our minds, bro. That's how the Heavenly Father is with us, right? Oh, there you go. I will strengthen thee, yeah, I will help thee, yeah, I will hold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Right, so the Heavenly Father going to strengthen us, right? And how the Heavenly Father going, the, the way that the Heavenly Father is going to strengthen us, some of us are going to receive spiritual power, right? Some of us are going to be super strong, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, like Samson. No, I'm talking about Like Samson, you know? That's right. Behold, all they that were insisted against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. Right. Shall- yeah, all these people, mainly our people, man, they come up against us because they the main ones that Esau used, man, right, to come up against us because he ain't got the cojones, man. He ain't got the intestinal fortitude to stand toe-to-toe with us. So he just sent bugged out niggas to come up against us, man. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Hey, anybody that strive with us, try to fight us, you know, try to attack us, man, you going to perish according to the Heavenly Father, man. Said, I think it said in Revelation, if you, uh, you uh, use two witnesses. Yeah, you know, yep. yeah, yeah, you ain't gonna give a power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're gonna call down fire from heaven, man. Yep. If any man shall hurt them, they must yeah, and they're gonna eat you. There we go. Uh, it says, Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that continue with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord, you have thy shine thy power, hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. All right, so the Lord is our help, man. Uh-huh. And the scripture talk about uh, happy as he that have the power of Jacob for his help. In the right. book of Psalms, I believe in like 130 Psalms, 140 Psalms. But the scripture clearly states that happy is he that have the power of Jacob for his help. And who is the power of Jacob? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So we happy. Right. That's why brothers ain't really stressing out, man. Brothers ain't really, oh, you know what I'm saying, you know, pulling their hair out, worried about it. Because we got complete confidence in the Heavenly Father that He's going to do for us what He said He was going to do. It says, uh, Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, save the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. They're right. The, the Heavenly Father referred to us as a worm because the worm has, is no, it has no protection. Man. Right? The, uh, a worm is, you know, he's defenseless. So that's the same thing with the men of Israel at this particular point in this story. We're defenseless, or so these people think, right? See, we have a spiritual, uh, 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 we have a spiritual shield. See, that was, that's the thing. People are going to see this Captain America shield <laughs> that we got right here. You feel me? You know, because they can't see it. They're looking at it with the naked eye. They can't see this shield or this, you know, this helmet of gold that we got on. You know what I'm saying? And this, this, uh, this, this golden sword that we yielded. They can't see this, man. Right. It says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp brushing instrument having teeth. Right. You gotta make us a weapon, man. There we go. You say you teach oh, our hands the war. You know? Keep going. 
Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shall make the hills as chaff. Yeah, the mountains is when you see mountain and hills, that's a, you know governments, right? Mm -hmm. That refers to different governments. So the mountains and the hills refer to Esau, his 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 kingdom, his empire, his structure, his military, his military oh. right. That's why I say we shall hunt them from out of the holes in the rocks. Yep. You know, because they underground bunkers, they're going to have whatever the case they may be. We're going to go get that yes, man. Right. That's right. Okay, that's it. Come on. Um, I'm going to kind of get to the point because there's a lot on this one. Zechariah 12 and 7. The Lord shall also say the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Do not magnify themselves against Judah. It says, in that day shall Bro, bro, that's the spirit. That's what I'm God, God, God I, was, I was about to, but I ain't know. You know. Get first two Bible read out. Uh, Zechariah 12 and 1, the burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord, which stretcheth forth the heavens mm -hmm. and layeth the foundation of the earth mm -hmm. and formeth the spirit of man within him. Yep. So that's the power of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Right. It says, and this is that word of the Lord. It says, Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling uh -huh. unto all the people round about. Right. So the Heavenly Father, bro, like the brother uh, the Cardi just said, he's going to make us a weapon, bro. Okay. So that's why these people going to be trembling. We're going to have spiritual power, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what you said. He said, Thou art my battle, like some brothers of war. For with thee will I break your peace, the nation, the whole, the whole chapter goes into the, 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 the man of the Lord being a weapon of the Lord, man, and being untouched. Man. That's yeah. right, and they show this in these different movies and instances, bro. Like, I'm thinking about the show called The Boys on Amazon, right? Where they had this dude named Homelander. Right. When that nigga popped up, nigga was, nigga was like, oh, sh nigga shook, nigga shook, bro. Because he got spiritual power. They already know what's, what's about to happen to them, bro. You know? It says, Behold, Zechariah 12 and 2, Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about mm -hmm. when they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. Right, so when people come up against us, right, that's when that's when the Heavenly Father going to give us those powers. When they try to besiege us, you know, mm -hmm. but, and in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people that are, it says, all that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces. There we go. Though all the people, it says, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it, uh -huh. in that day, saith the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment yep. and his rider with madness, mm -hmm. and I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. Yep. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength and the Lord of hosts their power. Here we go. And how about Shimei Hashem? Right. So that's going. That's what we're going to say, man. The Heavenly Father is our strength. Right. Okay. It's the says, host of their of their power. Keep going. Because the Lord going to prove to us in that day that He got us. I mean, you know, we already know that He got us. But you know, being able to overcome all those evils and perils that you might, you know, be faced with. You know, you gonna know the Lord. You gonna call on the name of Yahweh Shimei Hashem. And we, because it's going to show that look, you can survive without the help of Esau. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I tell you that Ezekiel will tell you uh, basically when you're doing bringing judgments on the heathen, he said, There should be no uh flock in. Then I shall make myself known among them. Right, right. He says, uh, Zechariah 12 and 6, in that day will I make the governors of Judah like a heart of fire among the wood, and like a torch of fire in the sheep, and they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left. And Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Right. We're going to be back in our own land. Yeah. Right. Once the Heavenly Father give us power to eradicate these evil minds. Right. Yeah. And these other nations, man. Yeah. It says, The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David mm -hmm. and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. It says, In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as Yahweh Shimei Shah, as the angel of the Lord before them. Man. Mm -hmm. So it's telling you, man, that the Lord will give us that increase, man. He said, He that is feeble 
among them shall be as David was. And David slew how many? Tens of thousands. Oh, that's saying the style of David. He, tens of he broke a bow of steel with his arms. He, he scaled and leaped over walls, man. You know? He yeah. saying that, you know, he was he was a man after the most high his heart. Right. right. And he said, the house of David, Lord willing, we believe that we are the house yeah. of David. That's why the scripture said he going to raise up the time of years of David. David. Yeah, that is falling. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what the Lord is doing. Mm -hmm. nope. yep. So this hail ride to the king, and the Lord gonna make sure we're straight. That's right. And it's right. Uh -huh. It says, and the house of David shall be as how it says as power as the angel of the Lord before them, and it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against the ruler. Right. Yeah. One inch could destroy this whole planet, but the Lord gonna use his men. <laughs> you know, to just to, to just to flex, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. And we can't wait, man. And and and, and that's gonna come. That's soon to come. Boy, this is spirit. You said what? You said the Lord is gonna show us that we got what you saw. Mm -hmm. saw and right the reason here. I said that is because the scripture says a curse that we gotta go to him for one of all things. Right. So the, the fact that the Lord gonna show us that He can sustain us even in the wilderness or wherever, yeah. being a pilgrim of the earth, wherever you may be scattered. You know, we ain't gonna need him. Brother, right. one of the brothers in the game in San Francisco, we just uploaded. You don't need Esau's system to survive. That's a spirit. That's a spirit. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And many there be that go in the rat, right? Because it's a trap, it's a snare. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a snare, it's a snare that the Lord are laid because we are the snare. Actually, we, we are like the trap. We are marking these people for destruction, man. Right, okay, so, uh, they're gonna be held accountable after we tell them this knowledge, and they can't run from this knowledge, man. Because it's already being pushed so hard. You know, like you may mention earlier in the video, that you know, this word has to get across the whole globe, the whole world. And the Lord, Salaki, the Lord is using different outlets, not just the prophets. The Lord is using, you know, the uh, social media shit that Esau is using to deceive people. The Lord is using to, to mark people and wake people up. You want that verse here to quote? Oh, yeah, you can grab it. Uh, Matthew 24 and 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the come. Right, so we're at the end. Because the gospel being preached throughout the four corners of the earth, right? right. You know, so we at a time where pursuant to uh, Revelation the second chapter that the heavenly father is about to let those angels, you know what I'm saying? He's about to let them, you know, those death angels loose on the planet earth, man. Oh, like the full yeah, yeah, that's it, right? The heavenly father is about to let those angels loose, man, right? So T I see the service in their forehead. There we go. There we go. So this gospel being preached, right? So what's coming next, man? The hill ride to the kingdom, man. You know? So hey, with that we pray to the edifying. We want to give our glory on and praises to you. Yeah. Hello, uh, show me, 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 show me